All right, guys, we're gonna get the weight here. This 2022 Trek Madone. Give me a second while I fix my T-Rex arms. Let's go ahead and lift this up. Make sure it's not hitting nothing. And we are right at, this is a size 58. I'll go over all the details, but we're right at 17 pounds. I'll say, God, I gotta work out. Hey, how's it going, everyone? GC Performance here, back with another video. And today I have you guys this beautiful Trek Madone 2022 in the SLR 9. Uh, this is their top tier model they offer with a brand new Durace on their 24 speed. Uh, before I get into the video, I just want to say I was on vacation for the weekend. It's great to be back. I want to do more videos. Uh, so I look forward to doing these videos. I miss doing these things. But big shout out to B&J Cycles for letting me get some time with this bike to shoot. This bike is sold um, already, but they do have more Madones coming in, more Imanas coming in with the new uh, Shimano stuff. So if you guys are interested, I'll link B&J's uh, phone number and store address as well. So you guys can get in touch with them as well. Um, but they're a popular Trek dealer over here. And I've said this before and I'll say this again. Trek, I'm a specialized fanboy through and through, but Trek does the most, in my opinion, the most nicest paint jobs out. I mean, for what they are, this is a beautiful color. This is their, I think it's called Trek Black and Prismatic color. It's it's a hard gloss black that fades to that sparkly, beautiful looking color. And it has a brush Trek logo. I'm a huge fan of Tre the brush Trek, uh, or the huge fan of the brush logo. Uh, it might get played out later on down the road, but as of right now, I think it's in. You have this Madone color there, but look at that sunlight, how it hits. I mean, the bike is absolutely gorgeous. So, retail on this bike is $12,550. Uh, it does come with a new Shimano Durace 12 speed, like I mentioned before, and this is built as seen. So, $12,500 is actually very competitive for such a big brand name uh, bike company out there. Other companies, including Specialized, are doing $14,000 and stuff like that. Pinarello is up there with a Dogma F. But their Madone is their flagship model. This is their aero bike. It's been around forever. And they're still doing it for that price point. It weighed in right around 17 pounds, but it is a size 58. Uh, so this is an aero bike. So keep that in mind. So not unheard of. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show off all the components, talk about some of the durace on there. And hopefully you guys enjoy this bike because it is beautiful. I mean, I, I mean, the color that Trek does in this thing with that brush logo. I don't know what bike it is. The name is a little bit too small. But... Uh, the, the, track lo the track logo, the color, I mean, that color you can't get anywhere else. That thing is so sick. Okay. Okay, so starting off with the cockpit, they have their own Trek Madone Bond Trigger. I'm sorry, the Trek Bond Trigger uh, one-piece bar and stem. Full carbon fiber, handlebar and stem. Cables are ran through here, through here. Much easier now without this Durace, uh, with a new Durace as well, because there are no more junction wires you have to worry about. It's literally just two hydraulic cables that run through here, through here. That's all you have to worry about. No more DI2 wiring, no more junction boxes. Uh, it makes it much easier for mechanics to, to work on and also benefit to consumers. If you have an issue with changing out bars or stems, uh, it should get a better turnaround time as well. They have the new updated hood on here with the Durace 12 speed, more ergonomic, a little bit longer. The, hoops kind, the hoods kind of are uh, turned in more as well, you can see, to give you a more of a natural resting arm position. If we look how my hand goes down like this, it naturally sags in, so it's going to be more of a natural resting position. Uh, they also raise the hoods, I believe because of the fact that it's wireless now, to probably put more electronics in here, but these are larger hoods as well. You still have the buttons up top here that can control the Garmin pages. Um, you do have the uh, more abrased uh, DI2 shifting paddles as well, and then different separation as well, uh, aesthetically. You have the cutoff right here that is different from the 11 speed to 12 speed, and then the shifting and the braking of it is much smoother. Um, but the brakes on here, no lie, if you have the 11 speed Durace and you're wondering if you should upgrade the 12 speed, if you had the money for it, go for it because this stuff is smooth. I mean, the new brake actuation is buttery smooth. The shifting is super quick, super fast, new hyperglide. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen tons of YouTube reviewers on it. I've got to play around with it now. I got to play uh, shifts with it. It's amazing. Now this is top tier price stuff. Obviously I can say this because I work on this stuff. Um, and this is probably only gonna apply to a couple people out there who have the, the income to expense it, to, uh, to allow it. But if, if you're a bike enthusiast and you love it, the new shifting is out of this world. Big kudos to him. And the new braking is amazing. Going down to the, the, the front of the bike, we have the Trek Madone logo here. You can add an integrated Madone or an integrated light here for the bond trigger that you can put on a Garmin mount, a light mount, whatever you want. You have the Aero Fork. It is a through axle. We're rocking the EOLUS RSL 51 carbon fiber wheels with their own bond trigger hub. You have bladed spokes. 51 millimeter depth wheels are definitely a staple, I would say. It's right in between of being aero but you can still do some climbs if you needed to. Um, but perfect wheel size for this bike. You have the Bond Traeger logo here, and then you have on here the tires are a Bond Traeger R3, 700 by 
25 tire. Uh, they are tubeless ready. I believe they're already tubeless made, so that weight that I gave you is with tubeless. On here, we have the new Shimano Dury 12-speed uh, rotors that are uh, a new upgrade that they changed. Different look, different style. They put some more holes in to allow some better heat dissipation. New upgrade look for the brake caliper as well. These are the Dury 12-speed brake calipers. Wider uh, for allowing less brake rub. So if you're riding in the rain, you're not getting that grit sound, that rubbing sound. And uh, they just they did a lot of upgrades to the brakes uh, as well. For the bleeding port, there is no more hose that you put on there for mechanic. You now have a threaded bleeding port, which I think is a little bit better. I always hated when I was bleeding a brake and sometimes it popped off, a big pain in the ass. Uh, going down to the down tube of the bike, we have this huge Trek logo. We have here the Madone, which I think, someone told me this before in the past. I think this is where the junction box would be at, where you adjust it. You have your water bottle cage here, water bottle cage here. We have the, where the junction box would be if you were gonna add it right there. You have the new updated T47 bottom bracket and a Durace crank arm as well, 12 speed crank arm. And a little bit of a shout out, science of speed right here on the crank. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Nice upgrade for sure with the T47 crank um, or bottom bracket. It just makes it easier. You have the, ah, Madone logo and the brushed again, just in case you forgot what you're riding, what you spent your money on. You get a nice reminder every time you're sucking wheel or sucking wind, you got that nice little Madone logo right there. Um, <laughs> you have the 800 series OCLV SLR carbon fiber. This is their top tier of what they make for their carbon fiber. So in terms of what to put them uh, preference, 800 series OCLV will be like S-Works. It will be like their, um, any kind of top tier carbon fiber by any manufacturer. Let's just put that in perspective. Uh, you have the brand new Durace cranks at 12 speeds. This is a 5236. You have the remodeled Durace front derailleur, which is all black. Uh, smaller box as well for the wiring units, but it makes it super easy for shifting. Uh, and then you have the rework or redesign for that new Durace crank as well. More square, more rigid lines. Um, but yeah, it, it's really nice, very good system. On this Madone, they also put on here a chain drop just in case your chain A drops or you're going for those sprints and you're putting out massive watts and you don't want that to just throw into your frame that you spent $12,500 on because that thing is beautiful. But the Madone does also have the ISO speed right here. They have this little logo, nice little bit of a rubber dampers, and they have the change outs down here below where you can change out for a little bit more of a dampening speed. Uh, the chain on here is going to be the 12 speed Shimano uh, chain. We have in the back the 12 speed cassette. And just so you guys know, the 11 speed uh, free hot bodies can work with the 12 speed cassette. So if these are older wheels, they don't need to be the updated free hot bodies. Just with a 12 speed cassette on a 12 speed Frio body, it's a better engagement they're saying. There's more splines, more direct contact, more engagement, but they will work. These 12 speed cassettes will work with the 11 speed wheel, uh, 11 speed cassette Frio bodies. So if you did buy wheels, don't, uh, don't fringe, don't fret, they'll work with it. You have the beautiful Durace 12 speed rear rail in the back. And we can see right here, we have a nice little wired tuck away right here that has this little spot so that it's not flailing in the wind. Uh, this is a charging port back here where you're going to charge the unit at now. It, this is where you charge the whole unit. Much easier than to plug into the front of the handlebar. And then this is the same charge that you use for the, um, the power meter crank that's offered later on down the road. Uh, the cassette in the back is 1128, I believe. And then just the bigger, longer cage that will allow for those bigger gears as well to be pulled. You can also get a 5441 on the front to work with this 1128 cassette in the back too. Same wheel in the, in the rear, it's the EOLUS RSL 15 wheel. And then we go over here to the brake cassette side as well. This is a 160 millimeter rotor, center lock Shimano, 160 millimeter rotor in the front. And then you have the flat mount disc brakes, 12 speed Durace uh, brake, brake calipers. Again, different look aesthetically. Also wider brake calipers, so you're not going to be getting the brake rub. And then you have a different bleed port as well. All benefits to mechanics and consumers because it should get you less turnaround time in the shop. You have attachments here and here for the seat post to adjust it. You have your seat post height right here. And then we have the EOLUS Pro saddle carbon fiber rails. Ah, B, the fuck? Sorry, I didn't mean the curse. Uh, EOLUS Pro <laughs> uh, bond trigger saddle. And yes, that is it. I think I got everything in there. I just got thrown off by a B. But, that's gonna have to do it for this video, guys. But let's just take one more walk around this bike to admire this beauty. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. Again, a $12,550 bike, Trek Madone SLR9 with the new Durace 12 speed, and the Trek Black 
and that prism color as well with that sparkle and that brush chrome for the Trek logo. It is a gorgeous bike. Absolutely love it. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I have a lot more content coming this week. Stay tuned to the channel. If you guys like the channel, subscribe. If you guys don't like it, then unsubscribe. If you guys give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs up. If you guys hate me, I hate myself too. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys next video. All right, free up body sound test coming on these EOLUS RSL 51 wheels. Bond trigger hubs, which are pretty sure are just basically a uh, DT Swiss rebranding. And the Durace 12 speed rear derailleur and free up body on there. Let's get it cracking. I'm gonna put my phone up here. And we're gonna spin some wheels so you guys can get a noise fixation that I have no idea what your obsession is with. Let's talk about it. There you go, guys. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.